parks, schools, restaurants, and more, Assembly Row gets high scores. We're at Thriving City with so much to do on Boston Harbor in our view. Politics, cannabis, controversial stories, heroes, villains, who gets the glory? 50 plus languages in Somerville is spoken. Sanctuary City, there are no free tokens. The history in Somerville stays alive. In all American city, we won three times. Somerville connects. Somerville connects. Welcome to another edition of Somerville Connects. Tonight, we are so fortunate to have Hugh Nugent from Total Ramen at the Assembly Row in Somerville, Massachusetts, in the United States of America. Yay! Welcome, Hugh. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, Hugh, we've never met before, so we're, first getting, time. we're getting to know each other for the first time, and mm -hmm. our viewers, our listeners, are also going to find out a little bit about you, what you do, and what your role is at Total Ramen. Sounds so, good. So Total Ramen, so tell us what Total Ramen is. Give us so the experience. So Total Ramen is a ramen restaurant, like authentic Japanese ramen restaurant. From, we're originally from New York, came up to Boston around five years ago, and we've expanded out to our third location now, going up at South Bay. And our specialty is Tori Paitan Ramen, uh, which is a chicken-based uh, broth. And you know, a lot of, there's a lot of ramens out there, tons of different styles, like everyone does something different, but our specialty is our uh, creamy chicken-based broth. And there's no dairy in it. Um, okay. The creaminess comes from the starches, uh, rice, potatoes, and all that chickeny goodness inside. So you said that this is Japanese-based. Yep. You're from Japanese. You're from Vietnam. I'm I'm Vietnamese. Yes. You're Vietnamese. Now, is this yes. something that you took from Vietnamese? Uh, the, from Vietnam is what I meant. Oh no. Um, so the original owner, his name is uh, Mr. Murakata. He's uh, you know from Hokkaido, Japan. He's um, he's been living in New York for forever now. I mean, since he was like 18, I think, and then he. Um, you know, came up with this recipe back in the early 2000s, and it's been uh, slowly growing ever since. Yeah, so like the original founder of all the Toto Ramens, he still has a hand in, in all of them. He still comes up and like sees us um, every month or so, every other month maybe. And you know, he still is very hands-on, but we are definitely authentically Japanese. Is this like yeah. a secret sauce recipe? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's one of those things where everyone has like their own secret recipe, the seasoning for the soup and everything. The soup itself is very plain, you know, it's just chicken base, like uh, chicken bones, uh, potatoes and rice. You know, we, we come in every morning at 5, 5.30, we cook the soup for five hours or so. You know, we strain it by hand. Um, yeah, the, the soup itself, Without its seasoning, it tastes like roasted chicken. Oh. And then we have our uh, seasonings and stuff that we put inside, like our soy sauces and stuff. That just brings it like an extra notch up. Is this like pho soup? Am I saying the right thing? Is oh, no. So pho is, uh, I mean, throughout all throughout Asia, there's a lot of regional like noodle soup dishes. But uh, pho is... Um, originates from Vietnam. So it's, it's all noodle soups, but pho is uh, like Vietnamese based, whereas ramen is particular to um, Japan. Oh, I see. Yeah. So there's like a lot of interest now with ramen soup. Right, right. So why, why is that? Um, I mean, there's really, you can't get anything more comforting, I'd say, than a hot, you know, bowl of soup and like carbs, noodles, you know? 
especially either if you're not feeling well or it's cold out or even if you had like a long night, you know, night out the night before. It's just uh, very comforting and stick you to your ribs type of food. So it's really good for the microbiome. Oh yeah, I mean. Can I, you, can I you get so. into that? Because a lot of people don't even understand what the microbiome is. Do you, can you explain that? Um, I mean, I guess everyone has like their uh, microbiome inside of them. So you gotta feed it, you gotta treat it right. Um, and if you take care of your microbiome, then it'll take care of you, I guess. It, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, well your microbiome is in your gut, it's your second brain. Mm -hmm. And when that is working at full capacity, what happens is that everything else works at full capacity. Right. So when people come to your establishment, I'm sure mm -hmm. they walk out of there feeling exhilarated. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very, uh, very comforting type of soup. So mm -hmm. it's, um, yeah, the food is just supposed to be, it's supposed to be like a, a comfort food. So are you gluten free, dairy uh, free? We are dairy free, but we, uh, we are not gluten free. You know, our noodles are wheat based, but we do have gluten free options. We use a soba noodle, which is a, like a buckwheat noodle, which is gluten free. And then we use a, like a gluten free soy sauce as well, like a tamari soy sauce as well to season the soups for our gluten free and your ch And your chickens, are they free range? Uh, I believe so. I, I'm not entirely sure. I could check. But um, yeah, we have our supplier that uh, gets our chickens up from New Hampshire, I believe, and Pennsylvania. So they have so. a chance to run around. Yeah, roam free. Okay, so. <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. On a hot day like today, and it's pretty humid out today. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sweating, so. It's, I think the humidity's in the 70s, which is extremely high. Right. Do people come to visit your establishment on a very hot day, or do they? I mean, to my surprise, yes. Um, even then, like, uh, so in Asia, even if it's like 80 degrees or 100 degrees with 100% humidity, people will still come out and they'll eat like noodle soups. And they say that w on a hot day when you eat hot foods, it'll regulate your body temperature to the ambient temperature outside and it'll help cool you down. Really? So that's, what I, that's what I've heard. I mean, it's never worked for me, but that's what I've heard. And what so. happens on a cold day? On a cold day, it'll warm you up. So it's more. beautiful. So, yeah. you, so you always should have ramen soup. Yeah, you can't go wrong. So let's find so. out a little bit about you, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the restaurant. How right. did you get from, you said you're from Vietnam, from yep. Vietnam to Somerville, Massachusetts. Well, my Tell parents, us your journey. So my parents came here in like the early 90s um, as like refugees after the fall of Saigon. And then of my entire family, I have two older brothers, they were born in Vietnam. Uh, I was the only one that was born here. So I'm originally from Springfield, Massachusetts, moved to Boston maybe uh, when I was around 12, 13. Uh, and then ended up going to high school here and college here. And then ultimately, I actually just recently moved to Somerville, like Somerville proper about three weeks ago. Why did you come to Somerville? Um, well, one, I work here, and I wanted, <laughs> no, I wanted to no, be- No, no, I, yeah. I understand that. But, but did you come here because of the job, or did you come here first um, to explore this neck of the woods? So I, the, my first time in Somerville was actually like just roaming around. Uh, a lot of my friends in high school wanted to go to Good Times, which is right. where, that was, you know, that's I what used to be here. Right, I remember that. And then, you know, a couple of years later, throughout like college and stuff, like within, what is it, five year anniversary of some, uh, Assembly Row now. So it's, it's definitely super, super different and I would, you know, for the better. Um, Some is such like a hip place. There's so much like going on, especially from someone who just moved here. There's always like something to do, something to like hidden gems all over the city to like go and find. You're a wise so. man, there are hidden <laughs> gems. Do you know that we have some of the finest restaurants in the oh, entire yeah. state of Massachusetts? And I heard that Total Ramen is one of them. Oh really? Well, that's, yes. Yeah, that, that's mean, the word on the street. That's what I love to hear. So yeah, that's total good ramen. For us. Total ramen is one of them. So did you? Do you have any expertise at, in the restaurant business? Did you go to school, so, or was it just in your own kitchen of your grandmother or your mother? Yeah. So um, 
I actually grew up, you know, helping my mom in the kitchen. It's funny, my mom wanted like a daughter when I was born. <gasps> and and here then you are. here I am, you know, I'm at home helping her do all, all the cooking uh, when my brothers are out doing teenage boy stuff. Um, but look yeah, at, I, look I loved, at you, Hugh. I loved being in the kitchen. And then funny enough, I went to uh, college and I wanted to go into like the, the medical field. And I thought, you know, okay, like, you know, this is my track. This is exactly what I want to do. And, but I needed a side job when I was in college. I'm like, you know, I need a couple extra bucks. I ended up working at Total Ramen, which is my first restaurant gig ever. And then I just loved working here. I loved the people. I love interacting with the people. I love making food and having people enjoy that food. And I just like, you know, slowly overtook exactly what I wanted to do. And what is it, four or five years later, here we are. So yeah. you're in your element being at Total Ramen because it's like going from your mother's kitchen oh, definitely. to here. Definitely. So you have yeah. to be there in the restaurant at 5.30 in the morning? Oh, we, yeah, we have like our, our guys come in at uh, 5 in the morning. Um, it takes about four and a half, five hours to cook the soups, another hour or so to strain the soups out, and then, uh, yeah, and then it's ready to go. So you basically make your ramen soup like I make my bone broth. You said you, there you, you go. strain it out. Right, right. What happens with all the vegetables? Do you put fresh vegetables in or? Yeah, I so we, you know, we're, we're peeling the potatoes, um, we're peeling the onions. Uh, we try to like stir fry them, like roast them a little bit in the, this giant, you know, 50, 60 gallon pot um, a little bit beforehand. In goes the chicken. Uh, we boil it down, and then we, oh, we keep adding more water so the consistency stays the same. And then we strain it out through these double mesh strainers. And it, um, yeah, it's very labor intensive, but uh, we think the product is, speaks for itself. And you've yeah. been here for a few months, you said? Yeah, I, ju I just moved to Somerville um, about three weeks ago. But I've, you know, I've worked with, uh, I worked here since we opened, so. And you've been open for? Five, not for five years. Um, this is going Three? on our third year now. Three years. Yep. And tell us why people should visit your establishment. Tell us, uh, if, you, if you don't mind, like, oh, give, us, give us all the reasons, all the positive attributes, while everyone in Somerville, Massachusetts, the world, should stop here at Total Ramen sure. to visit your establishment. So Total Ramen... Uh, is definitely a place you can come for an authentic Japanese uh, ramen experience. And when Total Ramen first came to Boston, there were maybe like a handful of uh, ramen restaurants. And slowly over time that we've seen like it's been growing and growing and there's been more exposure for the food and everything. And it's just been a great like experience, great learning experience and we would just love to share that with our community that, you know, that I'm where I'm from and hopefully that everyone could uh, experience that as well. The, the love that I have for, for food and for our food, I would hope to share that with everyone else. And it doesn't have to be, you know, just total ramen, just ramen in general. There's so many different kinds, so many different types, so many different tastes and flavors to, to cater to everyone out there. So when you're, when you're making the total ramen, does it have the elements of sweet, sour, salty? Oh, I, it's, I, I think this, yeah. uh, what, what are the flavors you're so, supposed to have? Um, I wouldn't say sour, it's, it's definitely savory. Um, there's like a sweetness that comes from the onions and the natural sweetness of the chicken. Um, tons of umami, I would say, like you know that fifth flavor it's definitely uh on your first sip the the amount of like collagen and the the um, flavor in the soup it coats your mouth the fat of the chicken emulsifies through the soup from the starches and it's just like a very silky smooth like filling rich soup and i'm looking at your skin you have beautiful oh. <laughs> skin. So am I correct to say that ramen soup is also good for skin? Oh, I'm, I'm sure it is. Like, no, for us, we use chicken. Other places, they use uh, pork bone. And the amount of bones that go into the soup, um, 
yeah, it's super good for you, I'd say. So do you start with the whole chicken, or do you have like chicken parts? Oh, we use chicken backs. So, chicken backs? Yeah, so the, all like the vertebrae, the, like the bones and stuff in the chicken, um, because they were cooking so long, they just pretty much break apart. Do you use apple cider vinegar? Because that's what I use when I make my uh, bone don't, broth. We don't. Because that breaks it down. Oh, no, we just let it go like on its own for, uh, for five, six hours, yeah. That's great. And then by the end of it, you can like pick a bone out and just it'll crumble in your hand. So do you have any lasting words for our uh, listeners, our viewers? Um, I would say definitely come try Toto Ramen here at Assembly Row in uh, Somerville. And, you know, we'd love to have you. So and we'll see you soon. Hugh Nugent from mm -hmm. Manager of Toto Ramen, thank yep. you so much for joining us today at Somerville Connects. And we're here at Vox Pop, which is part of Somerville Media Center, right. and uh, thank you Assembly Row. It's fabulous that we uh, are here with you. Right. I can't wait to taste it. I can't wait to <laughs> taste the ramen. Sounds good. It sounds oh, we'll see great. You there. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you again, folks. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Somerville connects. Somerville connects.